Hello everyone and welcome. It's Allison Okamitsu here from NicePeoplesTamp.com. Thanks for joining me for my live crafting show here on YouTube. You might be watching the recording on my blog or on my Facebook page or somewhere else on social media, but I just want to say thank you for being here, whether you're watching live or the recording. There is a lot in store today. I have a card to make with you. I have some Stampin' Up! news to share. And I have a lot of cards to show you, so make sure you stick around to the end because I have some great cards using our featured products today that, you know what, I've made so many cards this year, I don't think I'm going to get to share them all on my blog. Like, I just have so many that I've made, and you know, photography and filming videos takes a lot of time, and I don't think I'm going to get to them all by the time, you know, Christmas holidays get here. So what I'll do is I'll share a bunch of the ones I've made with this specific um, stamp set and dies in my like in the video at the end. Okay, let me just make sure I can see your comments because if anyone's here live, I want to be able to say hi to them. So if you are here live, make sure you give me a shout out, say hi, let me know where you're tuning in from. And even if you're watching the replay too, I love to know where you watch from because I am in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, but I've noticed that people from all over the world watch my videos and that's pretty cool. So if you are from Canada, I want you to know that anything that I share in my videos, any products that I use, you can purchase them through me in my online store. So you do have to be in Canada to have products purchased in my online store. And you can shop anytime at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. Speaking of shopping, we have some amazing, amazing things happening in my online store today. So it is December 1st. 2021 and the clearance rack has been updated when I tell you there are some bargains there I'm not lying <laughs> I may or may not have stocked up on some items because yes they're retired products but you know what those prices are not to be missed oh my gosh I yeah if you haven't checked it out make sure you do shop nicepeoplestamp.com they are while supplies last Okay, so don't wait, don't think, oh, you know, I'll think about it. No thinking about it, you just gotta go. Okay, hello, oh, and my new hair, well, thank you. So I did get a haircut last week, but what's funny is, is I have some videos pre-recorded to post for you. So over the next week or so, you're gonna see my hair go long and short on, on like Instagram and YouTube because I have some pre-recorded stuff that I'll be sharing. So it might be a wild ride to see my long and short hair grow back and get cut every day, but um, and if not confusing. So sorry about that, but I just, you know what? I just decided it's gotta go. I just went one day and got a haircut. <laughs> So I didn't really plan ahead. Anyways, the other thing that is happening is the last chance list or retiring items. So these are items from the holiday catalog that are no more. They, once December closes up shop, so do these items. They retire, they get, you know, um, sent out to pasture with other stamp sets and ribbons and bundles that, you know, have also already had their prime time. So these retiring items, some of them are on sale, but all of them are while supplies last, okay? We are using one of, one of my favorites from the holiday catalog tonight that is also on the last chance list and on sale. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that in a minute when we get into our um, project because the deal on these items is fabulous. Like I said, get to shop and run, run because the deals are fabulous and everything is while supplies last on both the last chance list and in the clearance rack. So if you wait, you wait, you might miss out. Okay, what else? Ooh, if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, it is an exciting day for us now, isn't it? So Stampin' Up! demonstrators were able to order from the upcoming catalog. So that's the catalog that's coming in January. I put in a sizable order. I'm very excited about my new things that will be coming. It's just one of the perks of being a demonstrator. You get to order early. We also um, get to you know order the catalog. So I'll be sending out catalogs to everyone who has purchased with me in the last, I think I counted for the last six months. Don't quote me on that. It'll be at least six months. It might possibly be more. So I've ordered those catalogs and when they arrive, I'll start labeling and packaging and shipping. So if you're unsure if you have placed an order with me in the last six months, 
just search in your email or you can contact me. I can't check for everyone. So um, if it comes down to it and I start getting too many requests, am I gonna be catalog? Am I gonna be catalog? I might have to say, I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, but if you have not purchased and you would like a catalog, just go to my online store, make a purchase and you'll be receiving one too. Again, if you're in Canada and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I'd be happy to send you a catalog. So let me know. You can reach out to me in the comments. You can send me an email. My email is allison at nicepeoplestamp.com and that's allison with two L's, okay? So A-L-L-I-S-O-N at nicepeoplestamp.com and you can request a catalog. And I just ask that you're in Canada and that you don't have a demonstrator that you shop with, that you'd like to shop with me. All right. I'm really excited to stamp. I know I've been doing a little bit of talking here. It's just, there's so much happening today. It's such a big day in the Stampin' Up! world. Uh, but I really wanna stamp. I've got a great card to make with you. And like I said, I have lots of additional projects to share as well. So yeah, we've got a fun show ahead. So why don't we get into stamping and I'm gonna turn the camera down. We're gonna start to stamp and I'll tell you about the fabulous deal on the items that I'm using today. So let's get into it. All right, my friends, we are just going to situate you here so you can see my desk and we can do some stamping together. All right, I think that's looking pretty good. Hopefully you can see okay. Let me pull you up just a bit. I think you're too close. All right, I think that's a little better. All right, so here is the products we're using today. We are using the Sweet Little Stockings stamp set, and we're also using the Stockings dies. So remember I said that we have some items on sale. So these are part of the last chance products. So truly last chance, <laughs> you know, they once they're gone, they're gone. And there's a great deal on these dies. So the original price of this bundle and at the bundle price, 10% off, it was $64.75. Okay, still a good deal. However, right now, you'll wanna purchase these two items separately because these dies are 50% off, so they're only $21. You'll pay regular price for the Sweet Little Stocking stamp set, which is $30, for a total of $51. So don't put in the bundle item number. You're gonna put an item number in for the Sweet Little Stocking stamp set and an item number in for the stockings dies. Purchase them separately and you'll get the whole bundle for $51 instead of $64.75. That's a great deal, my friends. I, I had to use this bundle tonight. I knew that as soon as I saw these dies, I think they're probably gonna sell out pretty fast. So if you are watching this video later and they're not available, I apologize, but I have no control over inventory. So just remember that these are last chance. I've said it a billion times and I'll say it a billion times more because I always get emails in like mid-December, late December that are like, I was really hoping to order the sweet little stockings bundle, but I can't find it in the online store. And I say, I'm sorry, it was while supplies last on the last chance list. And then I get, you know, the sad face emails back. Anyways, we are gonna start stamping with this one. We are going to use them both. I've got a cutie patootie card. So let's start with our stamping. I'm going to be using my Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad. And I want to stamp a few images that I'm going to color. So I'm using my alcohol markers, my Stampin' Blends markers. So let me show you what I'm stamping on here. So I'm gonna stamp the small stocking, okay. Yeah, Janet, I thought so too. Getting them on sale, why not? What a great way to get some fabulous Christmassy, and I mean, pets, and stockings, they don't go out of style. <laughs> like, it's not like this is gonna be a trendy thing that, you know, you can't use year after year. You'll be using this stamp set for years to come. So then we're stamping our cute little puppy. I think it looks like a little Labrador. And then I'm gonna do a Santa hat. Okay, how cute. 
We're going to do a candy cane. There we go. And then I want to do my sentiment. My sentiment says, very merry. And I'm going to do that up here. We're going to die cut this. So, oh, geez. That wasn't very good now, was it? So there's my sentiment. We needed a do-over. <laughs> All right. So what's really cool about this stamp set is you get a lot of imagery plus a lot of sentiments. So you get, you know, the candy cane, the little pine bough, some leaves, stars. You get a hamster, a kitty cat, a puppy, Santa's hat, and some presents and some stockings, and a ton of fabulous sentiments. And then when you look at the dies, you get the dies to cut out your imagery. So, you know, you've got your stockings. All three stockings have a die. You've got dies for all of the pets, for the presents, for the Santa hat. And then there's additional dies. So we have some great labels. I know that it's hard to see because I have so much on here, but we've got some great label dies. Okay, we've got those two labels. We've got this with, so this is like for the stocking to make the cuff. Okay, so like that. And we have the little toe in the heel right there. We've also got some holly. We're going to use that on our card and some stars. So there is a lot in this bundle. Like it is, it's jam packed. And we're going to use a lot of these dies today. And as you can see, we've used a lot of the stamps as well. So let me put this aside because I want these to dry before I start going in with my Stampin' Blends. We are going to put a few little pieces together on our card and um, not much to be honest, we're just putting a few bits. So I have my piece of basic white card stock and I believe, let me double check, I always have to, I usually have my little post-it note that tells me how big it is. But tonight, I don't know where it went. <laughs> so two and three, so it's two and three quarters by four inches. And then this piece is three quarters by four inches. So this designer paper is from the designer paper that matches uh, this bundle. So it's also on the last chance list and retiring. So what did I say? Well, supplies last. <laughs> All right, let's put this on. So this is basically going down the left-hand side of my piece of white, okay? So it's a little accent. This whole piece is going to become the focal image of our card. All right, so I can also tell you what our card base is. So this is going to be our card base, and this is the beautiful pool party card stock, and this is at four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at five and a half, okay? All right, just do a quick check-in on the hellos. Hello, Jana in Bristol, and Inke, I hope I'm saying that right, and Pam, Ellen, and Dawn, welcome. And if I did not give a shout out, say hello in the comments and you never know. <laughs> All right, next up we're gonna color. So I've got my Stampin' Blends markers. The colors we're using today are as follows. Cherry Cobbler and Pool Party. We also have So Saffron. Let me just check. Yep, those are the So Saffron. And we also have Daffodil Delight. So um, I'm going to mix sort of this, the Daffodil Delight and the So Saffron for my puppy dog. I'm going to use my Cherry Cobbler and my Pool Party for the stocking. And then, of course, you know, some Cherry Cobbler and Pool Party, or sorry, some Cherry Cobbler for my candy cane and my hat. So first up, we're just going to go in and do the stripes on the candy cane. At this point, I'm just using the markers to color. I'm not using them to shade in any way. I will be showing you that shortly. So if you've ever used uh, Stampin' Blends markers, give me a thumbs up in the comments because I love them. I think they're fabulous and I think they're super user friendly. So I, before Stampin' Up! came out with the Stampin' Blends markers, I hadn't really used alcohol markers at least not a lot. And so I thought that, oh my goodness, well, I have a steep learning curve. I was kind of nervous. 
Not at all. They are so simple to use, a few tips to get you going, and then you, you're, you know, you're off to the races and you just practice. And truly, you can, I mean, even just after coloring a couple of images, you learn so much and you're ready to, you know, take on bigger projects. So let's start with a little bit of blending. We're going to do some cherry cobbler in the hat. So I want some dark areas of cherry cobbler, and that's where I'm going to add my dark cherry cobbler. So of over in the fold of the hat. Okay, so let's do that. I need my super fine tip to get right up to the end there. There we go. And then sort of along this edge, I'm going to do my dark cherry cobbler. And then, oh yay, I can see you all love the blends. Woo, I love them. Then I'm taking my light cherry cobbler and I'm adding it in. So at first I just kind of go in and fill in the remainder of the image. Okay, so now my whole hat is colored in. I hope you can see that. But there's kind of like a line between the light and the dark marker. So to eliminate that, I start doing this circular motion of where the light and the dark, mar dark marker meet. And then you can see, let me pull this back up to the camera they start to blend their colors together rather than have the harsh line between dark to light. So again, that wasn't very hard. You saw me do it. I just did that little bit of a swirling motion, maybe a little back and forth, and it's beautifully blended. Let's go ahead and do the um, part of our stocking, like the base part, I guess, or the main part of our stocking. We're not going to do the cuffs or the like the cuff or the toe or the heel. We're just doing the main part of the stocking. We're doing that with cherry cobbler. This is my dark cherry cobbler once again, and we're gonna do it much like we did the Santa hat. We're taking our dark and doing that first, and then we'll take our light cherry cobbler and fill it in. There we go. And then I'll do that sort of circular motion to start blending. There we go. And you can see that I sort of have some dark around the edges and more light towards the center of the stocking, which I think is just so cute. <laughs> so now we can do the cuff and the toe and the heel. I'm using my pool party for that. So I'll take my dark pool party. Mm, let me use the the bullet tip. So I'll do dark pool party sort of along the bottom edge of the cuff and along the bottom of the heel and kind of bottom of the toe. There we go. And then I'll take my light pool party. Once again, I'm just going to sort of fill in and then kind of blend it out a little. All right, there we go. Super cute. All right, so adorable, right? And now we have the cute puppy dog. Oh my goodness, so cute. I love this little girl or guy. I love this dog. So I'm taking the Dark Daffodil Delight. And I'm just adding a little bit into the bottom of the face here and into the paws. And then you can see these kind of marks in the ears, the fur. I'm doing those areas as well. Okay, so that's my Dark Daffodil Delight. Then I'm going to take my light and add that sort of as like my next layer of color. And one thing to remember when you're coloring animals is they will often have markings. So it doesn't need to be perfectly blended. So like in the ears, I'm not really blending out the dark. I want in them to stay kind of marked as they have um, sort of marked ears like many dogs have, you know, dark patches. And then I'm just gonna take my, this is my Dark So Saffron Perfect. So my Dark So Saffron and just kind of do up near the top of the head. It's very similar in color to my 
light daffodil delight and I don't think you can probably see the difference on camera there is a difference in the color but I just don't think the camera will probably pick it up but those are my cute little images for my stocking so I have everything colored, which means I am ready to die cut because we've got a lot of stuff to die cut here. Let me move these markers before I drop them on the floor. All right, Pam says uh, her blending just doesn't work yet. She needs more practice. Okay, well, Pam, I think that's a, that's a recipe for just turn on a good movie and sit and do some coloring, isn't it? That's where I do my best coloring. When I'm either listening to music or I'm doing um, like some movie watching, I just sit and color and I practice different techniques or I just, you know, frankly sit and color. I just love coloring. Um, and oftentimes I'll use the Stampin' Blends markers just as markers. I won't do any blending at all. All right, so we have brought in our Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine. I am going to die cut my imagery here. So yes, you can die cut more than one image at a time. However, <laughs> if you were to come and look at where I'm filming, I have a camera stand in front of me, okay? So I need to be careful that I don't um, bump the camera stand and then also bump where my dies are on my paper. So I tend to do them one at a time when I'm filming videos or at most two. So I'm just gonna run them through. So yes, you can do more than once, especially if you're at home and there's not people watching. When there's people watching, sometimes you don't wanna mess up, right? All right. <laughs> yes, more Christmas movies, Pam. I love watching a good Christmas movie and making Christmas cards. Like I said, I've made a ton of cards this year and I'm just, I'm running out of time to share them all. So I have a lot of cards to share with you at the end of the video using this stamp set and dies. So give you some inspiration to uh, order your own because my goodness, I have had so much fun with this set. Okay. There we go. And then I have my cute little puppy. Where's that little puppy dog? There we go. Oh. All right. I need some good Christmas movie recommendations. I think I've watched everything twice <laughs> or three times. Maybe there's some new ones out this year that I don't know about. Maybe you can fill me in. All right, and then what I want to show you with this Very Merry, so see this die here, it has one pointed end and a flat end. What I want to do is I want to cut the pointed end kind of close to my sentiment, okay? So there's the first step. All right, so here's that. And you can use this die just like that. It looks fabulous, but you can also do it where you die cut the other end too, and you get a double pennanted end. Oh, sorry, see, just after I mentioned the camera stand, then I bump it, but I have to get it lined up okay. If you don't line it up perfectly when you do this, you can sort of um, snip it with your scissors to make it better um, but if you line it up all right you can get this fun double pennanted end sentiment let's see how we did oh where'd it go there we go yep look at it so cute right and that's just with the one die i just put the one die on the sentiment twice just like that and like that okay so that is the images we stamped but we also have more images I want to die cut. So let me just see here. I've got this piece. This is the Bumblebee cardstock. And I want to use that big, beautiful label die. So we're going to use that. And I also want some stars. So I'm going to put one star on and then I'll put on another in a minute. Okay, so there's that one. Oh, my star went flying. There we go. So my pennant, and I love that it has a stitched edge. That's pretty cool. So let's do another star. There we go. All 
All right. Oh, some good Christmas movies. Okay, I'll have to read those um, when I when I'm done stamping. I'll get them pulled up and see if we have you know all the different <laughs> services that are required to view them all. Okay, so then I have some some scraps of cardstock. This is cherry cobbler, old olive, and evening evergreen. And I want to do the holly, the holly berries. I mean, look at how tiny this little die is. Oh my goodness. I'm surprised I haven't lost that one, to be fair. Um, and this one here, it's like a little sprig of leaves. We're going to do those. There's a ton of dies in this set. I can't believe that it's on for $21. It is a steal, my friends. But not actually, because, you know, we don't do that. Okay. Here's my tiny little baby holly berries. They're just the cutest, patootiest little things. I mean, they're adorable. And then we have our holly itself, our little leaves, and I think we're ready to put our card together. So let me just get these dies back on my magnet sheet here so I don't lose any. Okay. And we can move this out of the way in our scraps. Go. All right, so let's see. I have my card base and that white that we prepped with the designer paper. We also have that fun uh, long pennant that we did, almost like a label. We're going to use this in a really fun way. I'm excited to share that. And then we have all of our stamped and colored images and then just our cute little die cuts. Okay, now it's time to assemble our beautiful card with our cute little puppy dog. Our first step, and I want this to go behind here, but you can see that my pennant and my paper are almost the same size. So we're just gonna do surgery. Okay, just cutting it in half, and we're gonna have the top showing out here and the bottom showing out there and a gap in the middle on the back that no one will see. Okay. All right. So let's put these on. Yay. Thank you for sharing some Stampin' Blends tips with each other in the comments. I love to see stampers helping each other and, you know, sharing ideas. It's really wonderful. Okay. And then, so there's the one on the top and then we'll do the one on the bottom. go. Okay, isn't that cute? Look at how cute that is already. So now I'm going to put this down onto my card base. So I'll just take some of my adhesive and I'll put this down in approximately the middle. If we don't end up right in the middle, no biggie. Handmade card, remember? Okay. So that's sort of our base to start building our focal point. And we have the cutest focal point because we have this cute little stocking and we're gonna have a little dog peeking out. We just, we have a lot going on here and it's gonna be the cutest. But we need to get some pieces sort of set before we put it onto our cart. So the first thing I can do is put my Santa hat on my little puppy dog. So I'm just going to Put that, oh, I need a little bit of my liquid glue just along the brim of the hat. And we'll put that onto the little puppy dog. Oh, Janet, <laughs> resistance is futile. You need it. Wait till I show you all the other cards I have too. So there's my little puppy dog and it's gonna be coming out the top of the stocking. But I also have all these cute little pieces that I want too. So I'm gonna have my little candy cane and I have my holly. I want my holly actually coming out from underneath the puppy dog's paw. So let's first go ahead and put my berries on my holly. Okay, I'm gonna use my take your pick tool to pick that up and place it, because I mean, it's just the smallest little itty bittiest thing. There we go. Get that on there where I like it. Okay. So then we're going to take our holly and we're going to put it underneath kind of the puppy dog's paw. So I'm just going to put a little bit of my liquid glue along the top 
and put it under the puppy's paw. I was gonna put it under the other paw, but I think this one is cute. Okay, so I've got my holly under my puppy's paw. So now I can put my puppy onto the stocking and I'm just gonna do that with a little bit of adhesive along this bottom edge where the puppy will stick to the stocking. Okay, so that's our first little bit. Okay, so the puppy's in place, the holly's in place, and now we can add things like our cute little candy cane. Okay, so we've got a candy cane with our little puppy friend. I mean, I don't think dogs can eat peppermint, but that's okay. This is a card, not, not reality. Okay, so there's that. And then I, oh, I also want some little greenery coming out with my puppy. So I've got that little piece we cut out. Oh my goodness, are you in love yet? Isn't it adorable? Okay, so we've got our little greenery piece. So cute, right? And then now what we're gonna do is put this onto our card. So I'm going to take my Stampin' Dimensionals and start adding those on. So where have I put those? There they are. Oh, and I've got a random piece of cardstock stuck to them. All right, so putting on the Stampin' Dimensionals will also help sort of reinforce all those pieces sticking together. So I put them sort of like on the seam of those things I've glued, like the puppy's little head um, where it attaches to the stocking. I've kind of put one there and at that candy cane stuff, I put one up there as well. So we'll take our backings off. There we go. And our cute, oh, don't these things get everywhere? So speaking of puppies, <laughs> my dogs, I often will find these on their noses. I've found them on top of the dog. Like sometimes my dog Chapman will be at my feet when I'm creating and I'll find these on the dog. <laughs> so yeah, they get everywhere. I found them in my bed. Like obviously they've been maybe on my face. My I, I don't even know. So yeah, they, they get everywhere. Okay, so there's our cute little puppy in our stocking. I want to add my Very Mary in here. Okay, so I'm just putting it on just the edge of the stocking and it's gonna hang off. So what I'm gonna do is take one of my dimensionals and put it underneath there, okay? Just the tiniest smidge of my seal adhesive. Take that backing off. And we'll slide that in. And we have Very Mary, so adorable. And then we still have our two cute little stars that we die cut. Like there is just so much in this bundle, as you can tell, um, like every, yeah, there's just a ton. So we're gonna put a star, oh, let's put one up here and one down here. So I'm just gonna take my take your pick tool, pick those up and place them. There we go. And there we have our super cute card. Let me bring that up to the screen so you can see a little bit better. We've got our little puppy dog in our stocking using the sweet little stockings stamp set and the stockings dies. So remember, because they are on the last chance list, they are one of the items that is discounted. So the dies on sale for $21. The stamp set regular price at 30, but you can get the whole bundle for $51 if you order the two items separately, rather than ordering them with the bundle item number because the bundle item number, you're gonna pay $64.75. So order them separate. Stockings dies, sweet little stocking stamp set, and then you get for $51, the entire bundle. Cute, right? And like on sale, whoa, big sale. Love that. So let's see, now what would be your choice for inside on this card? I have a confession. <laughs> I don't usually do an inside. And you wanna know why is because I oftentimes will write cards 
um, I will write on a post-it note and gift the card to someone so they can take the post-it note out and then write a message and they have a card. I use a lot of the cards I use in my videos to send to my customers and I write on post-it notes for them as well so they can use the card again and send it to someone else. So I have naked insides on my cards and I know that that's like kind of controversial in the card making world, but for me, that's what works. However, if you wanted to do an inside, I would say you would cut a, you know, a four inch by five and a quarter piece of white. And then an easy thing, just do a strip of designer paper along the bottom. It looks really cute. So yeah, that's what I would do if I was going to do an inside, but I, I almost always have the insides empty. All right, are you ready to see some more cards with this bundle? I will take pictures of them all and share them on my blog to, in tomorrow's blog post. So tomorrow is going to be a ton of cards <laughs> shared that are using this bundle. And I think you're going to love them, quite frankly. All right, so let's look at this one here. So here is one using all three of the little animals and the designer paper, but this time for the presents, I didn't color them. I just stamped them black onto different colors of cardstock. So I used Old Olive and Bumblebee, Pool Party and Cherry Cobbler. So you can get all different colored presents without coloring them in. So that's one. But if you're like Pam and you wanna practice your coloring, you could do something like this version and I colored all of these presents. So we have our cute puppy dog right in the middle of all the presents and I colored those with my Stampin' Blends markers. The colors I used for this were Just Jade and Misty Moonlight, Cherry Cobbler and Pool Party. Okay, so there's another one you could do. Then I have two that are kind of similar so I'm using a lot of designer paper on these two. So this one is our little kitty cat and then this one is our little dog. So this is the Misty Moonlight and this is the pool party version. Okay, so really super cute. These ones would again be fun. You could just sit in front of the TV, watch a holiday movie, color a bunch of presents and a bunch of little animals and then put them together. So there's a couple more. And then I love this one. I thought this one was so cute. It looks like a little mantle with three little stockings and three little uh, animals sticking out the top. And then I don't know if the video is picking it up, but the white is done with the brick and mortar embossing folder. So it looks like brick. So it looks like a mantle. So we have that one. Is that one even in the, yeah, I think it is. And then I have this one, a little bit similar to this one, but I use the label piece in white. And we have our cute little puppy dog and um, some of that designer paper. So there's another, oh my goodness, I'm running out of room. <laughs> and then this one here, I have this version with no puppy dog. So I did this one with the, um, the beautiful stocking and the candy cane, all the same pieces, but this one I added the puppy dog with the Santa hat. So that is my selection of cards that I have created. Oh, you can't even see that one over there that I have created with this fabulous stamp set and dies. So like I said, I've been creating up a storm. I can't put this one down. So, oh, <laughs> Janet says she gives up. She's going to place her order. <laughs> Oh, you're too funny, Janet. But honestly, I have not regretted this purchase for a millisecond. I've used it an absolute ton. And it just, it creates, as you can see, the cutest cards. And I've just had such a fun time putting them all together. So I hope you have a great time putting all of your little pets and presents and stockings cards together as well. So just a reminder, everything I've used and shown you in today's video, you can purchase if, from anywhere in Canada at shopnicepeoplestamp.com. While you're in my online store, check out the Last Chance products, summer on sale, and all our while supplies last. And then also pop into the clearance rack, massive clearance rack update with lots of great bargains. So... That is it from me today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this week's 
uh, live crafting show. And I hope you'll join me next week on YouTube. I go live on my YouTube channel Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Mountain. And I just love sharing, stamping, and creating with you. So thank you so much for being here, everyone. Go and check out my blog to see all of these cards posted with photos at nicepeoplestamp.com. I'll have that up tomorrow for you, which is December 2nd. Thanks, everyone. Bye.